Hey guys, so our session has been stored in memory right now. So that's a problem because we need to store in a database and retrieve the data from it. So if we come to the express session library over here in npm, if you scroll down, you can see here all these libraries given to us for connecting to our database. So we are basically using uh, Redis as for storing our unique IDs. So we can also store session in our Redis as well. So we can use this connect um, Redis library over here. So we can pass this on in our session store to connect to our Redis database. So let's um, install this connect Redis library first. We go back to our application. Um, so yarn add um, connect Redis and we'll also need to add the types for connect Redis so let's do yarn add dash d at types dash connect Redis and then what we do is we need to import um, session so this is already imported for us by express session and we'll import redis store from connect redis and we'll pass in the session to our redis store so to do that we'll do import star as we we'll call it store for now store from connect redis and right when we are boot bootstrapping our function we'll call const redis store and we'll pass in the session and in our session store so here if you take a look in our session store we are creating a new redis store store is new redis store and we'll pass in the options so our options is client is redis and let's import that as well now there seems to be a typer I guess Redis is missing as type Redis client connected opulent opulent client which is declared here store options I'm just for the sake of it let's change it to as any so our um, problem goes away so now let's take a look if our connected redis store is working so let's start our server don't start let's create a new email for us let's refresh this for let's refresh it for 10 more minutes let's copy this over let's paste this new sign up this new email over here let's play button now ok seems like our um, user has been signed up let's go back and copy this thing spaces as email Okay, let's take a look if our email comes to our email client okay let's press the confirm email link now it says okay over here let's take a look in our um, um, cookies over here let's remove the old session cookies press the refresh button over here now let's press play okay so the voting cookie has been set Let's go back in our Redis CLI and take a look. Let's do keys star. And now you can see a new session has been created for us. Um, let's take a look what's inside the session. So this is a key actually. So we'll do a get method and paste in the key. Now you can see here it says um, max age is null. So we have not set any max age or expires on 
and as you can see here the user ID for the user so this is the user ID what we are extracting from the cookie so let's just set the max age over here so we should say um, expires is true now let's set the max age I think max age is let's take a look over here I think it's in milliseconds seems like max age is in milliseconds so what we need to say is um, thousand that makes a millisecond into 60 into 60 that's an hour so let's set it for um, a year that's into 24 into 365 so this is an hour and 24 hours and 365 days so we are setting this cookie for a year um, so that is it guys thank you guys for watching